Hey guys, today we show you how to add more hydraulic fluids on your track, floor tracks, or some kind like that. Alright, so this one, see the hydraulic track oils, and use only for floor track or some kind of track, but don't use on hydraulic uh, your brake in your car or um, train missions hydraulic so don't use it only for a floor track all right okay here we go there's model so we have to looking for the rubber usually in the border so this is my model let's just take out the cover and you see that the rubber right here so if you don't have screw like this this rubber you just pull it up some model I just pull up my model so I use screw so I remove it so before you do this you have to release the valve first my is right here so depending what model you have you have to release first all right and then I remove this If you don't, if your model don't have rubber, you can use screw like that. Okay, put that aside. And check float inside. So my look like I need add more. So before I usually pour the all float to that can first, and then I add the new oil, the new float inside. All right, let me pour it first. Yep, it's already done, so I just pour the new one. Mm -hmm. So the new one in that, and just fill up until you see all moss on the screw, and you stop it. All right, I fill it up now. I put screw back. Close the valves. Pump it. Yes. Let's work. Close the valve. Open the valves. All right. For the bleeding, like your brake bleeding fluid. Um. Technically, you don't need to do that, but I saw some people this that they open the valves. And then they pump it 20 times. This and then close the valve. That's how they did it is. I don't know. I never done that before, but this time I do. That's it. Now check one more time. I don't know. I feel it's same thing for me. No. That's it. I hope this video can help you guys to add or uh, change the um, hydraulic fluid on your floor track. Alright, bye bye.